There are still um, uh, people who would do the United States harm out there. These ships sail every day, are out there every day protecting our freedom. Dive, dive. The 165 officers and crew of the USS Nebraska wrestle with a never-ending paradox. They are trained to play a role in nuclear war, a war that would bring an end to the very way of life they are sworn to protect and defend. Five of your down angle. Five of your down angle. conditions on the dive. I think more than just coping with it, you just learn to live with it. Everybody out here hopes, feels, believes that we will never have to do our job. But if we come down to it, we will do our job. The men of the Nebraska eat, work, and even sleep in the shadow of nuclear weapons. Their bunks are nestled between Trident missile tubes that contain enough explosive power to wipe out Hiroshima 240 times over. It, you desensitize it after a while. Yeah, after a while, it just seems like uh, it's your normal everyday work, you know, just a job. Now, if the president should order the Nebraska to launch its missiles, three keys would turn in locks like this. Those keys are on different places in the ship, and different people have them. Once that happens, it takes about 15 minutes for the missiles to activate and prepare to launch. Then the weapons officer pulls this trigger and starts the firing. Once the order comes from Washington, the Nebraska skipper has the final say about when and if those missiles launch. You got to understand that uh, the reason that we're here is to, pr to protect our country from an attack. And if I think there's an attack going on, you bet. You got to do it. Designated personnel man battle stations missile for training without guidance with launcher simulate spinning up all missiles. That nuclear attack could come from a submarine like the USS Nebraska. Weapons con, you have permission to fire. Bristling with multi-megaton missiles, the Nebraska and its 17 sister ships are a legacy from the Cold War. Now that the Iron Curtain has fallen, the Navy brass is pitting the ships against enemies like Saddam Hussein. Set condition 1SQ for training without guidance with launcher. This is the captain. This is an exercise. Certainly, nuclear weapons worked against Saddam Hussein in the, in the Gulf War uh, for the threat of a gas attack, chemical attack against our troops. It's available, it can be used, and um, we may need everything we can get to deter um, some future threat. Uh, as long as there are weapons out there that, that can threaten the country, and there certainly are many thousands that can, deterrence is absolutely crucial. Each of Nebraska's 24 Trident missiles packs 10 times the punch of the nukes America dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's enough explosive power to wipe out every major city in Iraq and still have some left over. It's America's final solution. <laughs>